Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Sarah Price and I'm the coordinator of student engagement here at Bridge Valley. And um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about our student services department and what offer or what items that we have that we can offer you as students to help make sure that you are successful during your time here at Bridge Valley. And um, we also have joining with us um, Pamela Hyde-Wines, who is our president of Student Government Association. And we also have Diane Simmons, who is new to us with the um, Student Success Center team. So if you all have any questions as we go on, um, I'll be able to answer. Um, we also just had Tammy McClanahan pop on, and she is our AmeriCorps employee with our Veterans Affairs Department. So we have a good mix of everybody on here. Um, so if you have any questions at the end, feel free to use the group chat, or if you would just like to unmute yourselves and ask, um, not a problem, we'll be able to answer um, whatever questions you may have. But um, to kind of get started, I'm going to go over a PowerPoint. It's our student services PowerPoint that we would normally do at orientation. Of course, we're not having in-person orientations right now. Um, everything's a little bit different um, than what we are used to, but that's okay. We're getting through it. You guys will get through it as well. Um, but I am going to talk with that a little bit. And then if you do want to go back and watch any of the other videos in our Talk to Us Tuesday series, they will be posted on the Bridge Valley website on the uh, Bridge Valley Student Affairs Facebook page and on YouTube. So you can definitely go back through and just kind of check up on admissions, check up on career services, and maybe the freshman advising. And that way you can learn a little bit more in depth about what services we do offer. But let me see if I can share my screen here. And we'll go ahead and get through this PowerPoint. All right. Is that working, guys? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to go through this. Um, all right, so student services, um, we have a lot of different um, opportunities where we can work with you, a lot of different areas that, you know, our whole purpose is that we are here to serve you and we really want to make sure that we provide the resources necessary to help you succeed. So we have everything in our student services department from um, student engagement, which is my job, we have academic support, we have counseling, we have career services, we have an entire department devoted to Veterans Affairs, um, community service, accessibility services, pretty much anything you can think of um, that would be a service to you all as students, um, we have at Bridge Valley. So I'm gonna briefly go through all of those. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know at the end. Um, or if somebody wanted to monitor the group chat for me, we can kind of take them as we go too. All right, so the first thing um, I'm gonna talk about is our Student Success Center. And we have one of these on both campuses. Um, if you are in South Charleston, our Student Success Center is in uh, B2000, I believe it's 031, so it's on the first floor. And then in Montgomery, our Student Success Center is in uh, Pathfinder Hall. Now, of course, for the fall, everything looks a little bit different. So instead of actually having um, in-person access, we are doing everything remotely. And I'm really happy that Diane is on here because Diane is big um, into this. This is her department. So she probably knows a little bit more about how specific things operate. So Diane, if you want to chime in at any time, feel free to. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Perfect. So our Student Success Center, um, our director is Tina Spalding. Um, she's our director of student success. And she, of course, is available as well. But the, the services that we offer through the Student Success Center is um, the first one is kind of you can we have a book borrowing program. So this is really important where if you don't have a book, maybe you need one temporarily, maybe your book didn't come in and you need something for the first in the, the first week of class, you can always stop in and see what we have. Um, we do have a limited availability, but we can definitely work with the professors and other students to kind of make sure that um, you do have what you need at the beginning of the semester to um, you know, make sure that you don't fall behind. We also offer things like calculators for math assignments. Um, you can come and check one out, just sign it out and bring it back. Not a problem at all. Um, another big thing that our Student Success Center is kind of known for is our tutoring. 
So we offer tutoring services. Um, if we were on campus, then you could either just walk in um, and see if there's a tutor available. Then we also have tutoring schedules to where you can make an appointment um, if you wanna work with a specific tutor for a specific class. Now, we are still offering tutoring, but it's a little bit different. So it's gonna be done online right now. So you can still email either um, Tina or Diane and they can work with you to get a tutor set up for any online classes that you may have um, or any classes you may have it's just it's done online and I will say this um, for some reason it, it seems like so many students are afraid to go to tutoring but I promise you go to tutoring early all right if you start to fall behind or maybe you're not quite understanding something and it could be just as simple as the delivery method of the professor is not quite matching up with with you know what your level of understanding is and you just need a little bit of a different delivery method it's completely fine seek out tutoring if you need it um, please do not wait until right before midterms or right before finals to do that all right that's what our tutors are there for and please do not be afraid to talk with them I i'd like to add yeah. in something here as well yeah a lot of times we find that students like to come in in as a group or sometimes students like to come in and do their homework with a tutor meaning sometimes there'll be two or three physics students and they'll work with a tutor and he'll give them the tutor will give them assignments and they'll work on that and then another student will be on like the right hand of the tutor and they'll be doing their homework and while the tutor is waiting for the other students to finish their assignments that he's given them they'll help um he'll help the one student with their homework and explain this is why you got this question wrong so mm -hmm. try and look at it from this perspective and use this solution and you should get it right so they'll our tutors are extremely flexible and they're wonderful they love to help they're very supportive and the students just absolutely love them so they are more than qualified they are as kind and compassionate as they can be, and they just love to see our students succeed. And that's honest to goodness truth. They just love helping the students. They do math and physics for fun. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> they yes. do. Um, and they're really approachable. And again, I know things are a little bit different because we're online for the fall, but even in person, um, you just don't, don't be shy, go up to them. They're, they're very welcoming. Um, they're very, like you said, just friendly and amazing people. Yes. And um, we also offer testing services. So this is something um, some of you all may have already done um, with the AccuPlacer. So if maybe you don't have your ACT or SAT scores, or maybe it's been a while um, since you were in high school and you're coming back. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, we offer a free AccuPlacer testing for admissions and placement. And all that means is that we just wanna make sure that we match you up with the correct level of class, especially in math and English. Um, that way we don't put you in something that's a little bit um, higher than what you need at that moment because trust me everybody needs a refresher sometimes I know I do <laughs> um, and so that's what we have the AccuPlacer for so if you don't have your ACT your SAT scores or maybe you're coming back um, and you just need a refresher in general the AccuPlacer is free and available for you all to take um, we also offer specialized testing services things like the T's, which is required for nursing and sonography applicants and we also offer test proctoring for online classes which is a big deal again things look a little bit different the fall semester um, but typically if you have a fully online class they do require you to have at least one of your exams to be proctored meaning that someone is watching you take it to make sure you don't cheat or anything not that any of us would do that though ever not that any of us would do that but it is a requirement um, and there are paid online proctoring services that you can go to but the awesome thing with bridge valley is that we offer them for free so you can come up to the student success center make an appointment for that and we'll get you taken care of is there anything else on testing that you want to add diane i'd just like to say if you have any questions like when um if you have any questions about taking the acuplacer or getting a test proctored or 
any questions at all, I want you to call us. We are, I mean, we are called the Student Success Center for a reason. We're here to support you. We want you to succeed because if you succeed, then you go on and become educated. And the more people that get educated in West Virginia, the more opportunities they have for themselves and for their families. And that is our goal for you to succeed. We want you to move forward with your lives. And, and if you don't ask questions, we don't know how to help you. And so we'll help you with anything. We'll help you log into your MyBridge. We'll help you navigate Blackboard. We'll help you um, use, um, oh, what is the, where they freeze the screen for when you take exams? It's a lockdown browser. We'll help you navigate that. We'll help you with, um, with AccuPlace or study guides. We want you to succeed and we want you to call us and ask for help because we want to help you, so. Yep, absolutely. And um, like I said, you can either reach out to Diane directly or Tina, um, and I guess Tammy, Tammy Winters will still be, is Tammy still there? Yes, Tammy is still available and, okay. and she is wonderful to help. All of our combined experience is, is top notch. And again, all we want to do is help you succeed. That's, that's our goal. Yeah, and whenever um, we have this in the replay, I know especially for YouTube, everybody's contact information will be listed down in the description bar. So don't worry about that. All right, so moving on, um, we also offer counseling and accessibility services. And this is something that I personally think is really awesome that Bridge Valley does. So our counseling services, um, we have a director of counseling, her name is Carla Blankenbuehler. And she's also our assistant dean of students, but she is a licensed counselor. She's a professional. Um, and the awesome thing with her is that we offer our students up to nine free sessions per semester of counseling with Carla. You can either, um, if we were still on campus, you could just walk in if she has something available. Um, you can do, um, send her an email, she'll make an appointment. She's doing kind of a telehealth method delivery right now where you can either talk with her on the phone or you can do it via Zoom like this. Um, but it's completely free to students and you, you can utilize up to nine sessions per semester. All sessions are confidential. Um, and, and if you do find yourself in need of maybe a specialist or, um, you've exhausted your nine sessions with Carla, but you know, might be a good idea for you to still talk to somebody. Carla has referrals. Um, she, she has a large network of professionals in the Kanawha Valley that she can absolutely connect you with. Um, even if it's, if it's not just, you know, counseling, if you're in need of, you know, immediate housing or shelter, if you're in need of food, whatever it is, Carla can help you with that. Okay. Carla can absolutely help you with that. Um, we also have our accessibility services department and Spencer Poling is our director of accessibility services and a lot of our students actually utilize um, this department. So if you find yourself in need of um, some extra time for test taking or maybe you need to test in private, um, maybe you need a note taker, um, you need somebody to help record class lectures, you need an interpreter, whatever it may be, um, go to Spencer and Spencer can definitely help you with this and, and get you the accommodations that you need. Um, you would also see Spencer if you have an IEP or maybe a 501 in high school and you can talk with her about that. Um, if you have a service animal, um, Spencer, you, you'll need to register it with Spencer so that you can have it um, on the grounds and you have record of that. Um, and also things like, we never want this to happen, but it, it may. So say you end up falling and you break your leg halfway through the semester um, and you can't walk up the stairs. So you need a temporary handicap parking permit. Spencer's the person that you'll go to to help you get those things. Um, so anything relating to just general accommodations in class or with testing, or if you, um, like I said, have a service animal, um, it's just pretty much anything kind of along those lines. And you can go to Spencer and she can definitely help you with that. 
All right, next, um, this is a really cool thing that is fairly new to Bridge Valley, and this is our Collegiate Recovery Program. And we have Annette Johnson, um, she is based out of the Montgomery campus, but of course she's, right now we're available um, through Zoom pretty much from anywhere. But Annette is um, with us, and so she is our recovery coach at Bridge Valley, and she has weekly meetings um, on both campuses. Right now there's just one through Zoom and then she can talk with you um, privately or individually as well. But if you are currently going through recovery, if you're in recovery, um, if you have a close friend or family member that's in recovery and, and really you just want a support system um, through all ranges of addictions or um, you know any type of just mental you know, support that you're kind of going through. Um, Annette is really a great access uh, or a great resource for you to access. So her email is there. It's annette.johnson at bridgevalley.edu. Um, her direct phone line is there as well. And we do have every Monday morning at 11, we have a snack and chat with Annette. And that's kind of the standing recurring um, meeting. But again, if you need to speak with her outside of that time or you would feel more comfortable speaking with her individually, you absolutely can just reach out to her and she can work with you on that. All right, next we have our TANF program. Um, so if you receive West Virginia Works or TANF benefits, um, or if you receive SNAP benefits or Medicaid, then um, Kevin and Mindy are your go-to. So we have a completely separate TANF program that is grant funded. Um, they offer special workshops for our TANF students. Um, things on like budgeting and just different type of skills assessment and um, you know just just a lot of kind of things that are specialized um, to the students and things that they would like to see as well. Um, so if you're interested in that um, please reach out to Kevin or Mindy and again all their information will be listed um, in the description box so we'll have their emails there not a problem but if you are receiving those benefits please please reach out to them because they have a wonderful program um, they do even field trips and things like that so they have their their own um, kind of it's almost like a little club on campus almost but they really have a lot of resources there um, specifically geared towards individuals who are receiving those benefits so please reach out to them and we also have Student Life, which is kind of my department. So Student Life, um, we have everything from campus events, so things like our Welcome Week, our Trivia Nights. We do popcorn and paints, which you may have seen um, on Facebook. So Tammy actually is an amazing artist, and she has been working with us on um, kind of like Uncork and Create, but it's the family-friendly version of Uncork and Create. <laughs> but it's, it's a free event to students. If we were on campus, of course, we would have them on campus, but right now we're doing them virtually. Um, so you can sit on your couch, you can chill, um, do whatever you'd like to do at home, but Tammy will lead you through your own painting. Um, so that's always a fun thing to do. And then I know Pam is on here with SGA. Um, Pam, are you still on here? Yes. Okay. So Pam is our president of Student Government Association, and you guys have your own campus events that you all do too. Yes, we do. Yeah, so um, things like Midterm Madness and Grad Bash, and of course these are some examples. Like if there's anything that you all wanna see on campus, come Pam, I'll like, have her information linked below as well. Um, send me a message, you know, student government. Um, we can talk about that here a little bit here in a second, but, um, we're pretty much there to make sure that you all have a good and well-rounded experience. So it's not just about having fun stuff like this. We also offer lunch and learn workshops. We offer adult and 101 workshops. Um, so things that make you, that help make you not only socialize with other people, stuff that is just pure fun. Um, we do a lot of crafts and make and takes. Um, we have chili cook-offs going on. You can see that in the picture. Um, but we also try to sneak in a little bit of educational component there too. Um, but yeah, we also, we always have campus events or something going on all the time. Um, for the fall semester, we are shifting a lot of those to a virtual method since we're not physically going to be on class or in, in the classroom. So if there's anything that you all would like to see, please reach out to me. Um, we are, we do plan on doing a lot of trivia and bingo, you know, that's easy to do online. Um, but yeah, we're always open for your all's ideas. Now we also offer, um, in addition to campus events and activities, um, we have a lot of leadership opportunities on campus and um, probably the most well-known is student government. So uh, Pam, do you kind of just want to give a quick overview of student government? Um, sure. 
uh, we're like your mouth. If you have a care or concern and um, you need us to help you out with it, um, we're your bridge to your the faculty and the staff. Um, we get you the help that you need if you're afraid to get it on your own. Um, if you have a concern or something uh, that you're afraid to go and talk about or a question, then we'll go and get the answer for you and bring it back and no one knows who asked what. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we're your advocates. Um, not just through the fun and, and keeping your mind off school, but we're also there to stick up for you and to encourage you. Um, when we were there at school, you could come in and stop in and have some popcorn and talk to us. And, you know, we'd encourage you and tell you where you needed to go if you needed something done. Um, or you could hang out and just study with us. You can make appointments to see us or catch us online now <laughs> and talk to us. Um, but we're there for you. We're your outlet. Um, we'll uh, let you, if you have an opinion or something, then we're your safe way to, to express it. Yeah. And we're just there to make your, your uh, semester successful. Yeah, and, and that's a good point. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of fun things on campus, and SGA, of course, sponsors a lot of fun stuff, but the, the important thing is that, as Pam said, it, it is the bridge um, that connects kind of the student body to the leadership. Um, you know, Pam, um, as president, is Board of Governors representative, so if you have any issues, anything going on, any ideas that you would like to see, um, changes about Bridge Valley, things that you just you think could enhance the student experience, then really, you know, go to Pam, go to any mem member of SGA, and like she said, they really are your bridge. So, and, and one of the cool things about student government is that we actually pay you to be an SGA. <laughs> um, our officers receive a full or partial tuition waiver um, it, once they are elected. And we are currently looking for, um, I believe, a secretary, and we have a couple senator positions open for the 2020-2021 school year. So if you're interested, um, email me or send Pam an email. You can also email SGA at um, sga at bridgevalley.edu and we can definitely help you with that. Um, we also have a student ambassador program, which is pretty cool. And this is something that is on hiatus for the fall semester, but it will resume in the spring once we are back on campus. The student ambassadors um, kind of work directly with my office, the Student Life Office, and they help out with events on campus, but they also help out with orientation, um, open houses, they'll give campus tours. Um, if any students have questions, um, maybe you don't know where to go, you're not comfortable where your classroom is, um, the student ambassadors are there to help you, and they help answer the phone. Um, but pretty much you're kind of like the street team of Bridge Valley is what I call it. So um, student ambassadors, they can also receive a full or partial tuition waiver. So um, that's something that um, as we kind of go through the fall semester, you'll see applications for those um, for the spring. So if you're interested in that, just kind of keep an eye out. And we also have on campus a lot of um, honor societies. We have the National Society of Leadership and Success, which is a fairly new one to us. It launched last year. And um, we also have Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, or known as PTK, and they, um, our chapter has won a lot of awards um, in our regional and national um, conferences with PTK, and a lot of the academic programs also have their own honor society. So we have um, Sigma Kappa Delta, which is the National English Honor Society. So there's a lot of opportunities um, to join honor societies if that's something you're interested in. But if you're interested just in getting involved in general, then we have over 20 student organizations on campus as well. Um, we have, of course, the honor societies. We have organizations that are specific to different academic disciplines. So we have, like, for the nursing students, we have Student Nurses Association. Um, for our dental hygiene students, we have 
SADA. I always butcher what it's actually called. <laughs> Student Association of Dental Hygienists of America, I think is what it is. Um, but we do have specific organizations for um, academic disciplines, but then we also have just the for fun, like the personal interest organization. So we have Bridge by Faith is one of our really good, um, really active and large organizations on campus. They do a lot to give back. Um, we also have GSA, which is our Genders and Sexualities Alliance. They're another really active one. So we have a lot um, of variety and we're always open to new student organizations. So if there's something you'd like to see on campus, um, it's pretty easy to start one. You can either contact me, you can email Pam or SGA, and we can help you through that process. Um, some other things we offer are, we were really big on health and wellness at Bridge Valley. Um, so we like to offer our students, you know, a YMCA membership, um, Zumba, we would do Zumba once a week. Um, last semester, that was completely free. We're also um, working on an intramural program. Again, for the fall, this is going to look a little bit different because, of course, we're not on campus, um, but we are still looking at some alternative health and wellness options to get everybody moving um, and just trying to still promote that without physically being on campus together. Um, so we do have some ideas coming for that. Um, and then the other big thing that's under student life is community service. And this is something that we absolutely value and we'd like for our students to value as well. So we'll offer different community service opportunities throughout the semester. Um, a lot of the clubs also do community service. So that, if that's something you're interested in, um, I mentioned Bridge by Faith. They are huge into service in the Canal Valley. Um, but also we have our Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service in January. Um, for spring break, we have alternative spring break, which is a different service each day. So there's a lot out there if you're interested in community service. All right, moving on. Tammy, are you still on here? Yes, ma'am, I am. All right, okay. So the next um, service that we offer is our Veterans Affairs Department. And I call on Tammy because she is well versed. She is a veteran herself. She's amazing. Um, but her and Missy run this department and um, they just offer so much. They have a veterans club um, on campus. So Tammy, do you want to talk a little bit more about what services you all provide to our veterans and veteran dependents? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, uh, as Sarah said, I'm Tammy McClanahan. I am there in the Veteran Affairs Office. I am the Mayor Corps Liaison uh, to Bridge Valley. Our director is Missy Lair. She has been working with our veterans for many years and she loves our veterans dearly. And you can't miss Missy out of a lineup if you tried. <laughs> Anybody knows we all love her dearly. Some of the things that we offer in Bridge Valley uh, for our veterans is we assist them in making sure that their veteran benefits are up to date and that their schooling is paid for if they are eligible um, for that benefit to make sure that we stay in contact with our VOC rehab counselors and just to be a good support for our veterans who are currently serving in our armed forces and also who have come back from deployment we also have extensions to um, help those veterans who may need extra assistance. We have programs such as Buddy to Buddy, which is a national organization to help some veterans who suffer from PTSD. Um, it is a great nonprofit organization that helps veterans and student veterans. We are also a part of the Student Veterans of America organization here at Bridge Valley. We have a chapter which is our veterans club like Sarah mentioned um, and what we do is we do a lot of community outreach and help those in need. We every spring break we or alternative spring break I'm sorry every alternative spring break we try to get as many together as possible and we do Habitat for Humanity and we have done that for many, many years, and we hope to do that as a continuing tradition uh, at Bridge Valley through our veteran affairs. Oh. 
think I, I think I hit everything. <laughs> Was that your cat? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for those of you guys watching this replay, but it's real life, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to real life. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Thank you, Tammy. Um, Thank you. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask, and we'll, we'll check the chat and stuff at the end um, if anybody has any questions. But yeah, our Veterans Affairs Department, I knew that I would butcher that, so thank you, Tammy. Um, just really amazing people. Um, and our veterans are some standout students at Bridge Valley. So we're very proud of you and we thank you for your service and um, we're happy to have you with us as Pathfinders. So. All right, next um, we have our Career Services Department and this is Renee Lester. She's our Director of Career Services and Freshman Advising. Um, Renee, actually last week, she had her own um, section devoted to career services and freshman advising. So we'll link that video if you would like to see that. Um, but if you are interested in just getting an internship, if you um, are looking for a job after you graduate from Bridge Valley, Renee is your go-to person. Um, we offer career fairs um, on each campus um, every semester. And right now we are doing um, virtual career fairs. We had a virtual career fair in the spring and I feel like it's probably what we're going to be doing this fall um, as well. But Renee also offers a lot of workshops on um, a variety of topics. So just career services um, in general, um, things like resume writing, how to write a cover letter, how to even search for a job, you know, what are reputable websites, um, what are not. Um, if you need help with your interview skills and or if you want to set up like a mock interview, she can help you with that. And we also have, um, we're members of the College, college Central Network and um, a career coaching portal where um, you can kind of look on your own if you're curious about, you know, maybe the best career matches for your um, personality and things that you're interested in. Maybe you're not quite sure, she can help you with that. I'm kind of exploring different careers and different majors. Um, but yeah, if you, if you are looking to get a job, um, whether it's an internship or you want to start working right after graduation. Um, Renee, I highly recommend seeing her. Um, Renee is amazing and she will definitely help you with anything that you need as it relates to career services. All right, kind of the, the second half of, of what Renee does though is the freshman advising. And um, one of the things that sets Bridge Valley apart from other schools is that we have professional freshman advisors. Now, these are individuals that are, are solely there to help you um, with your first semester of school. And, and so we say freshmen, it doesn't matter if you are coming to us and it is truly your very first semester of college, or if you are a transfer student, or if you are an adult reentering um, you know, the, the educational system. If you are a, if, if it is your first semester attending Bridge Valley, then we are going to refer to you as a freshman. So your first semester, you will be assigned a professional advisor based on your major, and you'll work with them. Um, they'll register you for classes, they'll get you placed. And then as you move on through your first semester and you start to enter your second semester, your advisor will change to a faculty advisor based on whatever your academic discipline is. Um, and, and Renee goes into this a little bit more in depth in her presentation, so that will definitely be linked below as well. And um, we also have an early alert program, which is pretty old, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so if you are struggling a little bit, you know, some of us do, it happens. Um, if you are struggling a little bit, then we have our early alert program that will kind of identify you as, um, you know, maybe you need a little extra assistance. So um, you'll receive an early alert. Um, you'll work with the retention specialist to resolve any barriers that um, may be um, there to prevent you from kind of doing the best that you can. Um, but you will work with them, um, whether it's academic based or maybe, you know, there's some other, you know, lifestyle issues that are going on, whatever it is, you can work with your retention specialist and they can help make sure that um, you have what you need to, you know, finish, um, to finish the semester and, you know, reach the potential that you, you can. Um, and kind of along with that, we also have probation workshops. Um, so if you, um, need a little boost like with your um, financial aid or you need a little boost with your grades. Uh, maybe you're on um, grade probation, maybe you're on financial aid probation or whatever it is. Um, we do offer probation workshops kind of in that same vein um, that will help you succeed. 
So talk a little bit about student expectations. Now this, um, we, we do expect all of our students to adhere to the Bridge Valley Student Code of Conduct, which can be found on the Bridge Valley website. And I'll show that to you here um, very shortly, just kind of where you can find it. Um, but at the core of it, you know, it's a long document, so definitely read it because you are expected as a student to be um, held to everything in there. But at the core, what we really ask is um, to just be respectful, be responsible, and be engaged. You know, Bridge Valley is an inclusive um, institution. Um, we respect everyone, no matter what their background is, um, what their culture is, what their race is, what their socioeconomic status is, does not matter to us. Okay, we're all equal at Bridge Valley and we want us to all be respectful of each other. Um, we also ask that you be responsible. And this is in the sense of, you know, coming to class, be, you know, make sure that um, if you have a question, you ask it. Make sure that you have all your paperwork turned in. Um, you know, just make sure that you are kind of taking control and ownership of your experience as a student. And then we also finally ask you to be engaged. So this is more than just, you know, joining an organization. Of course, we want you to join an organization. We want you to get involved on campus. There's so many benefits to doing that. But really, we just want you to be present there. You know, whether you're just in class, we just want you to be there. And we understand that it's hard. You know, we understand that being a student may not be your full-time gig. You may have a full-time job on top of that. You may be a parent, maybe a single parent. You know, we understand that life happens and we are here to work with you to make sure that we are, are flexible enough to where we can provide that common ground, that, that balance between school and the rest of your life um, so that you can graduate and you can succeed and you can achieve the goals and the dreams that you set out for yourself. But to do that, you do have to be engaged, you have to be present. Um, so we definitely ask that of all of our students as well. And kind of finally, um, just some other important campus resources and information that you should know. We do have a bookstore. It is in Montgomery at the bottom of Pathfinder Hall. Um, right now it's operating on very limited um, openings with due, due to you know, everything that's going on. But um, you can visit the bookstore online through the Bridge Valley website. You can order your books online and have them shipped to you. Um, it's an affiliate with Barnes and Noble, so we have everything there. You can either get Bridge Valley gear if you'd like, um, but we do have the bookstore that is 24 seven online. Um, and you can also use your book vouchers online as well. And it, it will kind of explain the process to do that on the website. Um, once we are back on campus, just some good things to know. We do have a full-time campus police force. There's some amazing guys, um, absolutely wonderful, incredibly friendly, and they're there to protect us um, and just to make sure that, you know, nothing happens and that you're in a safe environment um, and you don't have to worry about anything whenever you are at school. Um, but if something were to happen, absolutely go to them. They're always available. They have an emergency phone number if, they're, if you can't find them. Um, I know I've used them. Mike has jump-started my car before when I let my battery die. So <laughs> regardless of what you need, um, campus police are there and they can help you with whatever. Um, we have an emergency alert system too. So if the school were to be closed, um, say like for snow, you know, we mentioned the inclement weather here as well. Um, say we have a snow day, doesn't happen often. Um, and just because Kanawha or Fayette County schools may be closed does not necessarily mean that Bridge Valley will be closed. Um, but we do from time to time close. We, we sometimes have um, delays or, you know, goodness, if something happens like a water main break or something like that, you know, there are times where we will be closed. And um, you can sign up for the emergency alert um, text to come through you or come to you. And you can uh, kind of learn more about that on our website. And you can also contact our IT department to get that set up on your phone. And then a final thing to note, we are a tobacco-free campus, um, so we ask that you do not um, smoke or um, use any type of um, tobacco products or tobacco simulation products. Um, e-cigarettes, that's what I'm thinking of. Please do not use tobacco or e-cigarettes on campus um, because we are tobacco-free. So that is all. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing this now and we'll go back. Can you all see me now? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm still learning all the share screen stuff. Okay, um, real quick, I'm just going to show you all on the website. 
Okay, so this is um, on the website. You can um, just kind of go in the search bar. It, it's kind of buried under student affairs, but you can kind of just go in the search bar and search for student handbook. Um, and this is what will pop up. So this is um, the 2019 through 2021. They are working on an update for this upcoming school year, um, but it's long. I did not lie, it's 52 pages. Um, but again, it has everything you will need to know. It'll have the updated academic calendar in there um, for semester, like dates. I guess this is last year's, but um, any type of holidays that we have, um, when stuff starts. You have a welcome from Dr. Bellinger. This was um, Jenny, our president um, of SGA last year. So this will be replaced with Pam's beautiful self um, and a little letter from Pam. Um, there's also a student development directory, which has a lot of the individuals that we touched on in here. And we have, again, had some changes since this was produced last year. But again, it has everything in here and it talks about like your expectations, the student services that we offer. So this is a really good one. Um, to have and if you're ever just curious, you can always just go um, to the website and search for student handbook. So are there any questions that you all have? I know that was a lot and I apologize. That was a lot to take in and I talked super fast. Okay, we do have some questions here. Okay, so Okay, so if a student, what happens if a student took algebra in high school? Do they need to retake a math class in college? If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and answer that. Yes, I was going to, yes, I was processing. I'm like, okay, this is a Diane question. <laughs> yes, you absolutely have to um, take a at least 100 level college math. Um, and the same with English. You might have had an English class in high school, but they're not the equivalent to college level. And that is why we ask that you um, either take an ACT, SAT, or AccuPlacer exam before, you know, we like to do it before you, before you make an advising appointment so that we know where to place you directly. You know, if you're like me, somebody who took um, <laughs> developmental algebra, college algebra three times and finally passed it with a D, um, <laughs> you'll understand, you'll know what I, where I'm coming from. It's very difficult. Math is extremely difficult for me. And I did not bother to go and seek out a, like a tutor or any tutoring services or speak to my professor. And I know for a fact, that's why I was, I did not, I had so much difficulty passing those classes. I thought that I had to have all the, the smarts, all the intelligence, and possibly I was not working hard enough, or, you know, it was all my fault. When truly, it, it really wasn't based upon my intelligence. I just didn't have the tools to do college algebra. Now, later, I, you know, I finally went in and got tutoring help and I did pass. And then later I was able to do a technical math class and I passed that class with a B. I still struggled, but I also got help. And, and that was the huge difference. That, that was the factor that made a huge difference for me. And then from there, I just plowed on through and did, did all my other classes. So yes, you do have to take a college level math and you do have to take a college level English. And again, that's why we ask you to get your, uh, take an AccuPlace or ACT or SAT, and then we can place you in other courses. Also, a lot of courses, you must have English or a math class before you can take other courses. So that also propels you forward as well. And so we don't want you to stop we don't want there to be roadblocks in your way. So that's why it's always great to take your test, to do your testing before you get advised. And then we can move you forward and have a better chance of getting you into 15 credit hours, which is a full-time schedule. And then you can go to your next semester and do another 15 credit hours. And that compresses your time um, in college. So, and it makes you get through your program quicker, <laughs> which I know that's what a lot of people, a lot of students want to do. Is they want to get through their program. Well, that's how you do it. Take it, take your exams, your placement exams, come in and get advised as soon as possible. And then you're moved forward and taken care of, get those things taken care of. And it's a lot easier for you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, absolutely right. And I will say that there's 
please, if, if you need help, um, it, whether it's, you know, with tutoring with a specific class or you just have general questions, like come see, say come see us, we're not on campus right now, <laughs> but please reach out, okay? And if we were yeah. on campus, you can come down into the student services um, kind of area in our little suite and ask any of us and we'll be there to help you. Um, but please do not feel um, lesser than just because you have a question or exactly. tutoring. Um, there's, there's no such thing as that, absolutely not. We, yeah. That's why we exist. We want to make sure that you succeed and everybody's brain works a little bit differently. Yes. What's wrong with that. Um, everybody processes things differently. So just please um, utilize our services. That's what we are here for. Please, please, please utilize us. Exactly. Because the vast majority of us have multiple degrees. We've been to college before and we, you know, it's so very different from high school and you don't realize that until you get into it. But we realize that we expect you to feel overwhelmed. We expect mm -hmm. you to not know what's going on. We expect you to not have uh, to not know what your next steps are. That's why we are there and we offer so many services and resources because we want you to get uh, time and time again. I have seen this time and time again where students just feel absolutely overwhelmed. They, they feel like they cannot do this, that they don't have the intelligence to do this. And I'm, every time this has happened, I help a student out with one or two little things and all of a sudden, boom, they just get it and they take off. They don't need my help anymore because they had it in them all, all along. They were just stumbling on a few items that they could not get past. And once they did that, they didn't need my help. They already had it, boom, they're gone. So they were, we give you that little bit of support or a lot of support. And once you get your legs under you, I find that people just take off. So it's a good thing. Just ask us for help, please. Yep. And, and kind of to touch on that, you know, it, college is a lot different from high school, but the good thing about us is that our student services team, we're so diverse and we have yes. multiple degrees, but like myself, for example, I went to community college, um, not Bridge Valley. Um, it wasn't Bridge Valley at the time, but geographically I went to a, another one. Um, and I started at a four year institution, found out it wasn't really for me. Um, I hadn't been trained, I hadn't evolved, uh, I guess, enough personally to really fit in with the four year culture. And so I went back to a community college and it was the best decision I'd ever made. I grew so much at a community college and um, and then I went on to earn my bachelor's and eventually my master's. But um, I, I bring this up because one of the, the other question that we have is why should a student join SGA? And Pam, you know, hop in at the end of this. But um, for me personally, I know whenever I graduated high school um, and even kind of into adulthood before I, I went to my community college, um, I was very shy. I would not speak in front of people like I would not be doing this right now. And Going back to community college, it really transformed me because I got involved on campus. Um, I became comfortable in my classrooms because there were a smaller number of people in there. The professors actually knew who I was. Um, they really cared. The staff knew who I was. Um, and that's something that I think we really do at Bridge Valley too, is that we make an effort. Like it's our job to know our students. Right. Um, we want to make sure that you're comfortable there and, and you know, we, we care about you. And I think that's the big difference. And so, um, I know it can be hard, especially as an adult learner kind of coming back, but, but we've all been there. We understand, um, we, we understand the struggles and, and the advice I can give is if you're coming back in um, to college or, or you're just looking to kind of grow yourself individually, you want to meet new people, but you're really shy, you know, get involved, um, join SGA, join a student organization, get right. involved because it's such an easy way to make friends um, and kind of ease in to feel a little bit comfortable. And it's not just about the fun stuff. Like I got over my fear of public speaking um, by joining and getting involved. I got, um, a lot of leadership skills. I got my first job out of college based on my experience in student organizations in college, based on project management, on budgeting, on um, being able to coordinate programs. There's a lot of benefits to joining and getting involved. Um, Pam, do you want to add anything kind of onto that? Uh, yeah, I'm 52. I'm fi I was 50 when I started. And for me, 
it made it easier if I got to know people and got to help them. It made my anxiety less because I was doing something for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And if it's somebody that you know, it's even better. So get to know your students, get to know the people you go to school with. And as you get to know them, they grow on you and you want to do stuff for them. And, and that's why I'm here. I wanted to do stuff for the people I care about. So um, I know we're almost at our hour mark and Zoom is probably gonna cut me off. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I apologize if this was long, but there's so many good things happening in student services. So we're excited to share them with you. Uh, but if you have any questions, um, we'll link everything below, all of our contact information. You can also just call the main school number if you have any questions um, and we'll be able to connect you with the right person. Um, I will give you my email. Um, again, if you have any questions, I'll connect you. It is um, sarah.price at bridgevalley.edu. And it's Sarah without an H. So it's just S-A-R-A dot Price, P-R-I-C-E, at bridgevalley.edu. Or you can email Pam um, at S-G-A at bridgevalley.edu. And those are two super quick ways to get in touch with us if you have any questions. And then we can always um, connect you with who you need to talk with. But thank you all so much. Um, appreciate it. If you have any questions, send us an email and we'll be happy to answer them. So thank you and have a good rest of your day. Thanks, you too, bye.